hell. It's about time. Slack here, and welcome to another episode of the StarCraft II campaign playthrough. Last week we finished episode 2, The Heart of the Swarm. Before that we finished The Wings of Liberty. And before that we finished the original StarCraft and the original StarCraft's expansion, The Brood War. So, next... I am finally done playing as the Zerg, and I can play as the Protoss. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I'm going to, uh... Yeah, no, the Whispers of Oblivion is from the Terran campaign. That is confusing, and we didn't need that. Alright. Hmm. New campaign. Alright, so what have the Protoss been up to? Great evil. 
looms over the galaxy. The dark god Amon has returned. Spurred by Zero Tool's prophecies, Kerrigan and her swarm set out to destroy Amon's hybrid forces, hoping to stop the coming oblivion. With the threat of the Zerg Queen absent, the Protoss hierarch Artanis raised a massive fleet raised a massive invasion fleet left the dark templar world of shakuras and committed to restore his people's former glory by reclaiming their lost home world of ayer At the threshold of destiny. For today, we will restore the glory of our legacy. Today, we will retake what we have lost and reclaim our homeworld. And may the Kala's light guide us. The invasion fleet stands ready. We await only your command, Hierarch. We must halt this invasion at once. Zeratul? Templar! Arrest this traitor! No! We will hear him out. The End War has come. Amon, the Dark One, has returned. This heretic cannot be trusted. This invasion is a distraction from the true battle ahead. Amon's fury will engulf the entire galaxy. Do not forget that it was his interference that brought ruin to ire. And that burden weighs heavily upon me. Artanis, I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. You must believe me. We have been through much together, Zeratul. But far too many have sacrificed in the hopes that this moment would come to pass. Executor! Commence the invasion! sure what we're invading. I'm so pumped about this. This is way better than being the Zerg. Oh. You require my skills. Oh, okay. For the reckoning. Here we go. Warriors, fire awaits you. March forth and take Zerg it. under the ground. Yes. Use them well, Artemis. Oh, well. Sick. Colossi are like. I'm so happy right now. Not the Zerg, not the Zerg. I am not the Zerg and so happy about it. I don't know what that is, but I wanted it dead. Get him, Colossi. 
There is a Zerg hive cluster near your warriors. We will destroy them. We should destroy it. Only subjective. You mean the only thing that matters? Finally, I get to play as the Protoss. Uh, there's three warp conduit locations that I have to clear. Oh yeah! Was that just epic for epic's sake? Zerg. Ready yourselves, brethren. We move for victory. One with shadow. Where do I go though? Oh the bridge. <laughs> Very well. This is a huge amount of Protoss. Protoss are normally like expensive, but you can have fewer of them. Destroy the lives. All Zerg must fall. I am paying for the crime of playing as the Zerg. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Warriors annihilated. We strike as one. This is so much better than the Zerg. We strike as one. <clears throat> so when I was a kid, I called the Protoss the Space Knights with shields. Because they had swords and shields. I was not the smartest kid, but let me know in the comments below. Do you think the Protoss are basically space knights with shields? Do you agree with nine-year-old me? We are one shadows. Yeah, we are. Oh, we're going this way. Oh no, it's that uh, mothership we saw crash earlier. Join our massive force. For your aid, allow yeah, yeah, us yeah. to join you in battle. <laughs> I love the intensity. Signal confirmed. Reinforcements warping in at your location. That's gonna be a big heck yeah for me. Gold is the void. Intriguing. Look at this absolute force. Oh, they're trying. They are trying. Take the hive out. Oh, so that's the bridge. Well, we're taking the hives out, so... Another hive lies in ruins. Only one remains, my warriors. For the reckoning. That's cool. 
So I know they warp in their buildings and they warp in like units, but I always wonder like, is there a training system? Do they build them on ire and then warp them? Is the warping the actual building of the building? I feel like they don't like have kids or a lot of kids. I don't know like where Protoss like come from or how they propagate themselves. There's a lot of things I don't know about the Protoss, but they're cool. I also want the zealots in the front. So normally no mercy means like, it's actually a brutal thing to say in a war, it means like, we're not taking prisoners even if they try to surrender. Don't surrender. So does it mean anything? <laughs> the warp conduits have been secured. Our starfighters are moving to take this fight across the surface. Take command of the invasion, Executor. Zeratul, you and I must discuss this most recent turn of events further. Awesome. Let's see what the post mission video is. Uh, that was cool. It seems the end war you warned of has begun. Tell me, old friend, what is it you have learned? I have witnessed the end of all things. Horrific legions of hybrid, raising world upon world. In the darkness, lording over them, a shadowy form, Amon. Yet, you spoke of a way to stand against him. This vision was a benevolent one, as if an ancient voice called out from beyond. The keystone shall usher you on to a Keystone. I saw a burst of light revealing the Zelda artifact on the Terran world of
Zeratul, you must secure the Zelnaga Keystone from James Raynor. My forces will reactivate the Spear of Adun, a warship that will be invaluable in the battles ahead. May Tassadar's shadow hide you, my friend. And that's going to be it for today. This next uh, episode, The Growing Shadow, will be tomorrow. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below, do you already like the Protoss campaign more than the Zerg one? I know I do. This has been Noxus Flack playing StarCraft 2, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.